So this is my best advice for year 13, but really this applies to anyone who's coming up for some important exams and they need to learn a lot of stuff and feel really confident going into those exams. <laughs> This advice works for any subject, but here on Gorilla Physics, we do tutorials and we do exam practice for GCSE and A-level physics. So if that's you, if you're one of those subjects, then you'll find loads of materials on my channel. But if you do different subjects, then you'll still find study tip videos just like this one to help you out. My biggest tip for year 13 is to make sure that you have studied everything in your courses before Christmas. I suggest that you get a really clear diagram of all of your courses and all of the topics within those courses and you start to really map out your strengths and your weaknesses of all of those topics. But what you need to do is quite early on in this year feel that you have at least covered everything once. Now the way to do that is to get ahead of your class and the way to do that is to set yourself a target of covering every single thing in all of your A-levels, all of your GCCs, wherever the courses are, you need to cover everything by Christmas time. It's halfway through the year when you're going to sit the exams, you need to have covered every single thing in the courses. That's not to say that you need to know everything back to front and that you're really going to be ready for those exams at that point, but you need to have at least gone through all that material once. That might seem a little bit weird because your teacher's going to do some lessons on those topics and you'll already have studied them. But the thing is, if you do that, when you get to those lessons, that's the second time you've been through that topic. So actually those lessons are revision, and those lessons are consolidation of something that you're already at least a little bit familiar with. And that's a really key thing to get right. The other reason to do that, to make sure you've covered everything early, is to make sure that you've got a way to actually be able to look across the whole thing and analyse where your strengths and weaknesses are. If you wait for your teacher to get round to the last module in your courses, then you're going to find that is only a couple of months, if that. It might only be a few weeks before the actual exam, that's the first time you study something. And then you're not going to have time to do anything about it if you find that topic really, really difficult. Whereas if you've gone through everything at least once, then you'll know that really difficult topic's there, and you'll be prepared for it, and you'll know that you need to take action to make sure you're ready to answer the questions on that topic. So by looking ahead, you're going to start to build up this encyclopedic knowledge of all your courses. You're going to start to know exactly what's in each of the topics, and even how they link together. And that's a big idea in A-levels, is how the different topics link together. And the hardest questions will ask you to make those links. So here's my advice, is to actually make sure you've covered everything once, just by working through the textbook. So make sure you're working steadily through your course textbook to make sure you have covered everything once. Just read, try and answer the practice questions, just make sure you've actually been through the whole material faster than the pace that your class will cover it. And then when you get to Christmas time, either just before or just after the Christmas holidays, I'm not too bothered which one you do, sit yourself down and do a full set of past exam papers. Do them timed and mark them really carefully and that is the way that you're going to know which of those topic areas you are strong and weak at. So you're going to come back at the start of the new term in January actually already knowing where your strengths and your weaknesses are and you're going to make yourself a list then of your priorities. You're going to make yourself a list from the bits you find hardest to the bits you find easiest and you're going to start revising with the bits you find hardest even if they're bits that your teacher hasn't actually covered yet. You can make use of the absolute wealth of materials that's here on YouTube. There's a video for every single topic in every single course that we teach here in the UK now. So I'm sure you'll be able to find loads and loads of materials to actually learn those things the first time around on your own before you get round to them in class. Then when you get round to them in class, well that's really brilliant because those are going to be the best learning experiences, those are going to be the really key learning experiences, but you're already going to be a little bit familiar with them, so they should be taking you from a bit of understanding to a really good understanding. So let's get there, let's make that our target here on this channel. You watching this, you're going to be ready, you're going to have studied everything at least once by Christmas, either December or January, you're going to have covered everything and you're going to take a full set of exam papers. And then me, I'm going to be here to help you through the rest of the way, to talk you through all the different things that you can do to make sure you're revising well, to make sure that you're actually going to cover everything to the standard that you're going to need for those exams. You can do this, you have to believe in yourself, you have to get going and you have to make sure that you are independently studying everything to make sure that you know your strengths and your weaknesses. Because that's the thing that makes the difference between the kind of middle grades and the top grades. And at Gorilla Physics, we're all about you getting that A star. Thank you.